Hello everyone and welcome to a kind of first but technically second date get ready with me. Oh my gosh. My butterflies are going crazy. Which I mean I guess is a good thing but I would like it if I could stop being so shaky. It's just a date. It's just a date. It'll go great. And we technically have already been on a date. Uh, yes, this is the same guy that I had my previous first date with in my first date get ready with me series where we did a video chat and I believe, I don't know, maybe it was in a, it was probably in a live stream, but you know you guys asked how dating things are going for me and I gave you an update that, you know, he and I are still talking pretty much every single day. <sighs> And now that stay-at-home orders have been lifted a little bit, and have been for a little bit now, you know, it's not like we're going crazy. We're just gonna go on a walk around a lake. So there'll be no touching, no contact, all of that. And, um, yeah, it should be good. It should be good. I'm just so... I hate this. I hate these stupid nerves. <laughs> But at the same time, they're good because it means I'm excited, but like I'm also nervous. You know, there's always just that little, little thing in the back of your head that says, well, what if, you know, things have been working out good so far and uh, what if now somehow meeting in person is just gonna ruin it? I mean, really in reality, it should do nothing but make things better. But, you know, I think this partially has to do with me being self-conscious a bit. You know, it's getting better over the years, but just, you know. I'm far from skinny, I'm far from perfect, and he hasn't, I mean, granted, I have some full body shots in my Bumble profile, but you just always get worried that sometimes in real life, things translate a little differently. It's obviously in a video chat call or a picture or whatever, obviously I'm not taking it from down here. Now granted, it's not like he's gonna be looking at me from that angle, but let's turn the fan on. Ah, oh, much better. I'm tentative about even wearing any kinds of face products at all right now, just with how humid and hot it is. But I tried out this combo the other day during my weekly wear, and oh my god, it was glorious. So I'm gonna do it again. And don't be alarmed, I know some people see me mixing this on my hand and they're like, you use so much foundation, and I'm like, dude, I don't use everything that I squirt out. It's wasteful, for sure. I've really gotta find another white mix in medium too, mine is almost gone. But but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I didn't even put on concealer. Do I need concealer? My skin's doing pretty good at the moment, which is why I even felt semi-comfortable enough thinking maybe I don't need to wear any face products. That, that would be a first. I don't think I've ever gone on a first date without makeup on. Isn't that, isn't that a thing? To lure them in, lure them in with your makeup mask, and then once you have them in your grasp, then you can be like, okay, this is what I look like without makeup. I mean, granted, he could just, I'm sure, easily find my YouTube channel and see me without makeup. <laughs> but, you know, it's all these insecurities that we all have, right? Anyways, you guys, I'm just nervous. I really like this guy, and I hope things work out just as well in real life as they have so far online. As we have, you know, we've been talking for a long time now, which is kind of crazy technically, I mean, on and off since even last year, because I had initially talked to him before meeting B. Mm -hmm. But then that didn't end up working out with either of them. <laughs> and so he had unmatched me or deleted his account, actually. And then when he recreated his account, we matched again. And now here we are. So now, I know some of you want me to call this guy C, but then that's confusing for me because I'm Cassie and my name starts with a C. But then like if we keep going down the alphabet, I don't want to call him D because then I'm just going to be thinking about his D. <laughs> and I can't do F and I can't do G because those are my cats. So is he H? I guess that kind of works because instead of a bumblebee, maybe he can be a hornet. But then am I just going to think horny? I mean, okay, well. It's really not that big of a deal. It just would be nice to give him a little code name, alphabet letter. So you guys let me know. Do you want me to just stick with C? Or do you want me to go to H? Those are our options. And who knows, maybe this will go horribly and then we won't have to worry about naming him. 
but that's not the kind of energy I want to put out into the world right now. I want to put out into the world that things are going to go great, it's going to be perfect, have a jolly good time. But see, I don't use all the foundation, especially not in the summer here. Ooh, it's too hot. Too darn hot as I proceed to put on more foundation. <laughs> I just want to cover up that spot there. Good enough. Seriously, hands, we don't need to shake. We've met this guy. We know this guy. Kind of. Not really. I don't even know his last name. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But like, this is what I'm looking for. You know, not everyone agrees that there should be butterflies or whatever else. But to me, butterflies are a very good thing to have when you're in a relationship with someone, right? Like, that's part of it. I don't know. Either way. He, I, I told him that he gives me butterflies and he said that I do the same for him, but what? Oh my god. And I did, I think I said I was going to do this in a live stream or whatever. I did ask him if he was talking to anybody else on Bumble because I was just curious. No, he is allowed to. We're not technically dating or anything. And there have been a couple of moments like this where I've just been like, oh my God, what am I doing? Like, I need to slow my heart down for this guy. I think I'm gonna get played. But he did say that he's talking to a couple other girls. So like, Ugh! but he did say that he only does that because, you know, things can definitely just all of a sudden poof disappear on Bumble. You know, one day you're talking to someone, the next day you're not. So he's just keeping his options open, which is like totally fair. As I said, he's a loud. <laughs> but then the other moment where I was like, oh my god, and just like cackling at myself was, um, and this was a while back, this was maybe two, three weeks ago or so, something like that, but he, I think he had asked, yeah, he asked me what were my like top three things I was looking forward to once quarantine was over, and I was super corny and you know I said a couple of things and then I listed my third as getting to meet him in person because I mean truth that that is one of the things I'm looking most forward to and then I asked him what about you like what are the three things you're most looking forward to thinking that you know like even if you don't mean it usually someone will respond back and ha be like oh my god I'm excited to meet you too type of thing and he didn't. <laughs> I was not on his list of top three things. And so I just, you know, in the moment, I was just like so like, ah, oh my God, I'm an idiot. And so embarrassed that I messaged him back and just said that I, you know, basically that I was laughing so hard. Like imagine my embarrassment, my embarrassment and horror that you did not list me <laughs> after I just told you I was excited to meet you. <laughs> And he came back like straight away and he's like not the quickest to ever message me back. He has been that way since day one and continues to live up to his legacy. He's just not on his phone very often, but he like very quickly messaged me back and was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. No, like I just, I thought it would be lame or like it's in the rules or whatever that I'm not allowed to use any of the three things that you listed. So I listed three different things. Like, of course I'm excited to meet you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> You know, that's always going to be nagging in the back of my mind now, like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. But I think, you know, a good sign is that he initiated wanting to meet up with me today. So that's good. But then I've also got little things in the back of my head that, you know, we were actually supposed to meet up yesterday. And then I get a message from him because I messaged him the day before yesterday. But, you know, like, hey, tomorrow's the day. What time do you want to meet up? Blah, 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 blah. And he messaged me back the next day in the morning, very early, I assume, before he went to work. And uh, he was like, oh my god, you're gonna think I'm a total flake. Like, I definitely scheduled two things for the same day, blah, blah, blah. Would you be okay with doing it tomorrow? And I'm just like, oh my god, I'm really not important. But you know, I'm trying to, trying to play it cool, play it casual, you know? <laughs> of course, that's totally fine. Let's just do the next day. So we'll see. I mean, he was super apologetic about it and even moved his thing so that we could meet up yesterday. But I was just like, nope. <laughs> this is your punishment. You will wait. Just like I thought I was going to have to. So today it is. It has been confirmed and I am nervous. I mean, I honestly think the thing I might be most nervous about is 
getting sweaty. I don't want that to be anyone's first impression of me. But like, it is humid, it is hot, it is disgusting outside. And we're gonna be outside walking around a lake. Like that sounds like a recipe for me getting sweaty. So I'm gonna do my best. And by that, I mean I'm gonna be sure to take my not so sweaty pill and also deodorant and also wear black so that my sweat doesn't show as much, especially on my back. Oh, how embarrassing. Because it is, and then I'm scared that when we say goodbye, he's gonna wanna give me a hug. And I'm gonna be like, nope, I'm not letting you touch my sweaty back. Is that rude of me? But seriously, I'm really freaking self-conscious about it. You know, he told me, oh, don't worry about it. Like, I doubt I'm even gonna notice, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, you don't understand. <laughs> when I say I get sweaty, this isn't like a cute, like, oh my God, tea -hee -tea -ha, I'm so girly and one drop of sweat and I'm like, ew, I'm so gross. Like, no, I get sweaty. Like I just did a workout. So I may even be completely embarrassing and bring my portable little fan. Wear that around my neck. Like, would that be so good? <laughs> What would you rather? Would you rather have me be sweaty or be seen walking around with me wearing my little portable fan around my neck? You know, yeah, these are your choices because it's gonna be one or the other. There really is no in between. I have no idea what I wanna do for an eye look today. Like looking at my eyeshadows, I am so uninspired. I guess we'll just do something classic, huh? Oh, I just feel like I'm gonna puke. I'm so self-conscious and I can't help it. Please tell me I'm not alone in my self-consciousness. I know I'm not, I know I'm not, but you know. We all have our thing, we all have our thing. And even though I've been very blunt with this guy, you know, and telling him like, hey, I'm sweaty. Hey, this is this. Hey, I'm excited to see you. <laughs> he says he finds the confidence very sexy and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm glad because I'm doing it as a buffer. Like, am I really that confident? No, but like, I'd rather let you know through a text that, hey, I'm sweaty rather than in real life. Just be like, hi, I'm sweaty. I don't know. Maybe it's the cowardly way of doing things, but it is how it is and what it is. So like ever since he told me that he wasn't just talking to me, I think it's just like my jealous petty side on the inside. Like, well, I'm gonna go talk to other people too. And so like, I've matched with some other people and I just don't care. Either I don't even send them a message cause I'm just like, I'm not gonna waste either of our time, but I'm just like, I don't know. I just get so focused on one person. And it's not to say I get like obsessive over the person, but it's just like, I don't like spreading myself so thin across so many people. And I also don't like having to worry about it. not, did I tell some other guy or blah, blah, blah. Like I'd rather just have you be my person and leave it at that, but whatever. One of which, I mean, this guy was just like too much, too quick. Like he'll message me and before I even message him back, he'll message me again. Now like a few hours later asking me another question. It's like, buddy, I appreciate it that you're that interested in me, but that's a lot. I don't know you. We have sent like two messages back and forth. If this is how you are already, I can't even imagine in an actual relationship. Babe, it's been five minutes, where are you? Dude, I was taking a dump. I didn't bring my phone with me. You know? It's a very thin line, I think, between being responsive enough and also like making them want you to respond, you know? Give them that little bit of wanting. It's good for you, right? Yeah. And ta-da, here we go. This is what ended up happening for eyeshadow. Nothing earth shattering or innovative, but it is what it is. Put some nude liner in my waterline because my eyes are feeling a bit tired today, so. Cover up some of that tiredness, and yeah, this is the makeup look. Voila! I am hoping it will withstand the heat and not completely melt off by the end of the night. That'd be nice. <laughs> Alright, you guys, time has passed. In less than an hour, I will be there and with this guy, and we will be walking around a lake. Oh. Ah, I need to figure out what I'm wearing so then I can choose a lip thing and then and then I'm gonna get going ah! <sighs> Let's go get dressed All right into the closet we go mm, options options, but I think to start I'm conflicted between wearing 
shorts and a t-shirt or a dress. Either way, I don't want chub rub. Hmm. I'm honestly kind of thinking about wearing this dress. It would just be fluttery and easy. I've got some sneakers I could wear with this. Is that horrible? I wore this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a good dress. All right, a few tries later, this is what we landed on. Hair's going up, because I can already feel the sweat coming. Whew. Uh, we've got a shirt that I believe I got from ThreadUp. Please don't look at all of my messes, but it has a bow in the back. Yep. Here we are in this mirror with those messes. This skirt, I definitely got from ThreadUp, right? Yes, I believe it was originally from Target, but that is what... I am wearing, got shorts on, so chub rub, not today. Also, if it happens to be windy, I don't have to worry about a woo moment. So now, jewelry. I almost went for these earrings, but those are the bad luck earrings. I think we have to do a cat necklace. It's just mandatory for me. I'm gonna go with these. I have no idea. I think you guys can see me, but okay. Earrings, oh my god, I'm getting hot. Just, I need to, oh my god. I can't be the only one that gets this nervous about something stupid like going on a walk. Okay, okay, Cassie. You got this. No need to sweat. Yeah, uh -huh. don't sweat it. Yeah? I think I might have made up that saying in a past life. Too bad it's not something I can control. Now for the lips. We're gonna go with a little bit of a stain. <laughs> a little bit as I go with like a bright pink. It's strawberry, okay. And then we're gonna put some... Clinique on top. Spread that out. Get a good gloss. Whew, I think that should do. And sunscreen, of course. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a white cast to me. You know, it, it is what it is. Protection, it's important. Can't forget this. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. All right, socks. Sneakers. These socks show too much. Eh, whatever. Ooh, all right, be still my heart. I've got water. I've got my purse and everything. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys when I get back. Wish me luck. Cats, wish me luck. Meow, meow. Great. Bye. I'm home. <laughs> um, just looking in the mirror, all I can think is how in the heck did he want to kiss me? But there you have it. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> I also didn't realize that I needed to repaint that necklace chain with some clear nail polish because uh, I've got the nice green line. But you know what? Somehow it didn't deter him. Oh, this is going to be awful. Combing through my hair. Ouch. So windy. And the whole time, all I could think was, so glad I wore a skirt. <laughs> It's okay. Anyways, um, we walked around that lake like four times, I think, four and a half times. We, I think we walked around it twice and then we got back to our cars and he was like, so do you want to walk around it again or? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. So we walked around it again and again. So that was a fun little, little three hour walk that we did. And truly it was, it was a lot of fun. We laughed, we conversed. As I said, we kissed. Oh. It is rare that I kiss on the first date. However, it does happen. And you know, he and I have just been talking for so long. Not to mention he asked if he could kiss me. Like that, ugh, so cute. So like he kissed me and then we hugged. And then before he let me go, he asked if he could kiss me again. <laughs> Uh, I said no. <laughs> I'm joking, I said yes. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I said yes. I think I just kissed him back. Either way. Yay! Mm, so tired. So happy. You know when you're so tired that you go to like, uh, lift up uh, the tiniest little thing. And <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yep. I don't know if you can see the print on my forehead. I just got done doing my eye restore and I was like, <sighs> so ready to go to bed, but I am committed to my hair growth. So yeah, I don't know that there's too much else to say, my friends. I am a happy camper. I hope you guys are happy for me. I mean, we'll see how things go. You never know what the future holds. So happy I didn't get sunburned, yay. 
for SPF. I always have this horrible little monster in my brain that makes me like second guess everything. You guys have seen it. Ooh, that noise though. That's like, oh, I hope he had a good time too. I don't know, was it just me? And then I have to remind myself, he asked to kiss me. He asked for my number. He wouldn't have done that if he didn't have a good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, happy days. I'm excited to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, let me know in the comments down below if you did. Otherwise, you can always just let me know by giving the video a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. Ugh, let's not forget to put my ring on. Tippity tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye and good night. Oh, sleep. Glorious sleep. <sighs> I went to this club, right? And um, they had no baggy pants and no sneakers.